Well, new overnight, the person who was injured in a house fire in Danville, Virginia has died. That fire broke out Thursday morning at a house on Fairfield Avenue. Neighbors told firefighters there was someone inside. They were able to get them out, transported them to the burn center at UNC Chapel Hill, but we're told they did die yesterday from their injuries. The fire marshal is still investigating the cause of that fire. Also new this morning, folks in parts of Guilford County now have safe drinking water. The city of High Point says those in the Sandy Ridge service area are no longer under a boil water advisory. It was first caused a couple days ago because of a water main break in the northwest section of the county. The city says construction crews hit a water line that serves about 1500 people that has been repaired. So again, that boil water advisory is lifted for those in the Sandy Ridge area. The investigation continues this morning into what caused Thursday's deadly plane crash in Rockingham County. Both the FAA and the NTSB are at that scene to see what they can learn right now. Authorities say the experimental aircraft called an early bird Jenny went down shortly after taking off from Shiloh Airport in Stoneville. The plane crashed into a field and burst into flames. We're told the pilot who died was the only one on board. The NTSB says a preliminary report should be ready in about two weeks. The full report will take 12 to 18 months. In your coronavirus headlines at 8.05, let's take a look at where we stand here in North Carolina. The latest report from the Department of Health and Human Services says 738 people have recently been diagnosed with the virus. Our daily positivity rate sits at 3.1%. That's well under state leaders' goal of 5%. Nearly 700 people are battling COVID-19 in our hospitals right now, and the death toll due to COVID complications stands at 13,078 people. Right now, 48.8% of adults in North Carolina are considered fully vaccinated, but the pace of vaccinations is slowing in the state. Many providers have stopped asking the federal government for more doses. State health officials are returning hundreds of thousands of vaccines and are asking for fewer and fewer shots. The state says it has nearly 2.3 million COVID-19 vaccines just sitting on shelves right now, and it's working to send those doses to underserved areas. Still, vaccination rates around the country are on the rise, allowing many people to be able to have a more normal Memorial Day weekend. Health officials, though, want you to celebrate safely, especially if you're out in the sun. A recent survey from the American Academy of Dermatology shows some Americans are confused about sunscreen, so let's clear this up. The AAD recommends applying a broad-spectrum water-resistant sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Reapply that every two hours or after swimming or sweating. And during those peak hours of the day from 10 in the morning to two in the afternoon when the sun's rays are the strongest. Find shade whenever you can, wherever you can. Dress to protect yourself, wearing layers, a hat, and sunglasses with UV protection. When it comes to brands for sunscreen, dermatologists suggest names like Neutrogena, Aveeno, and Bear Republic. Well, we are in the middle of one of the biggest travel weekends of the year. AAA actually expects more than 37 million people to hit the road or skies over the next couple days. Our Justin Schreyer takes us to Piedmont Triad International Airport, who says it's all an early start to the rush. As more and more people book their ticket and take to the sky here at Piedmont Triad International Airport, travelers say they are prepared for the Memorial Day weekend rush. Giving ourselves a little extra time, packed a couple extra masks, uh, and that kind of thing. PTI Executive Director Kevin Baker says traffic has been steadily picking up over the last few weeks. Baker says he attributes the increase in passenger traffic to dropping COVID numbers, rising vaccination numbers, and people who just want to travel. The most recent numbers in from PTI include a huge surge in passenger traffic up 1,462 percent this April compared to April of 2020. Year to date, though, they are still down about 44 percent over 2020. Flyers like Jeb Brooks say he's seen the increase firsthand. I've been traveling pretty regularly uh, since about July of last year, and I've definitely noticed an uptick in the last, say, six or eight weeks uh, of travel. It's clear that uh, people are ready to be out there. They're, they're on the road. They're getting, getting uh, into airports and that kind of thing. And out on the roads, AAA says an estimated 1 million North Carolinians are expected to travel this Memorial Day, even with gas prices trending higher than last year. Back at PTI, other travelers say while they are planning on keeping their mask on and staying away from others, Greensboro is their choice to help them get to their destination. Because it's smarter and it's more, you know, more convenient. More convenient for my daughter and my son because they live here. And if you are planning on traveling through airports, flying on commercial airliners, 
riding on over-the-road buses, commuter buses, and rail systems, a face mask is still required. That was Justin Schreyer reporting there. Turning to Washington now at 808, the Senate failed to approve a bill that would have created an independent commission to investigate the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Exe Diaz is in our Washington Bureau with more on the vote that had bipartisan support when it passed in the House less than a week ago. Half a dozen Republicans voted with Democrats to create the commission, but it wasn't enough to pass the measure. The motion is not agreed to. The insurrection at the U.S. Capitol will not be investigated by an independent panel. A bill to create a commission, which passed in the House with bipartisan support, failed to get the 60 votes needed in the Senate. But out of fear or fealty to Donald Trump, the Republican minority just prevented the American people from getting the full truth about January 6th. President Trump supporters stormed the Capitol on the day Congress was certifying election results. GOP leader Mitch McConnell, who blamed President Trump's rhetoric after the attack, says an independent investigation isn't necessary. I do not believe the additional extraneous commission that Democratic leaders want would uncover crucial new facts or promote healing. Six GOP senators did vote in favor of the commission, which would have been made up of 10 investigators, five chosen by Democrats and five by Republicans. The White House says by not passing the bill, the Senate failed to defend the Constitution, but wouldn't say if President Biden is considering forming a presidential commission to investigate the attack. There are other investigations underway led by law enforcement and congressional committees, but the commission would have been separate and would have produced a comprehensive report by the end of the year. In Washington, I'm Ike Sadeus. Time now is 810. This Memorial Day, a North Carolina veteran wounded in combat will get a special gift for his service to our country. Retired Marine Corps Sergeant Jesus Vasquez Jr. is getting a free 2021 Honda CRV. It's thanks to Wells Fargo and a car dealership in Jacksonville working together, along with the Military Warrior Support Foundation, who also helped make this moment possible. Look how happy they are. Sergeant Vasquez says this gift could not have come at a better time. He wants to spend more time with his family after being away for a while, serving his country and undergoing medical treatment. Congrats to them. Look at yeah. that sweet ride there. Perfect for drive around, but maybe take it for a ride when it's <laughs> right when the weather's a little bit nicer, maybe tomorrow or Monday. <laughs>